here's my question. So last turn I said I moved <laughs> towards them. Am not would I be within ten feet of Zoctavir? Um I think no, because Zoctavir is like in towards the middle or like towards the center of that circle. Mm. Um so unless you were like intentionally moving towards him to be within ten feet of him, I think you would not have like accidentally gotten there. I said I wanted to get close to them, but I was not that specific. So I will delay, not my turn, but delay what I want to do one more turn. Okay. And I'll just... Uh, I mean, you could also, you can like move and I do can't, it. I'm restrained. Oh, Wait, are, I'm restrained. What, what turn are we on? Right. Turn number, the, yeah, sorry. the electric brain hasn't gone yet. Turn, uh, the, brain the, brain. The, it goes over on your turn, so this is two turns. And it'll be the third on your next turn. Um, what do I want to do? What? For yawning. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, what was so f- boring. No. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it simple this turn and just uh use my firebolt. Cause I don't want a firebolt. Wait. Firebolt. You know what? I'm gonna attack the. I'm gonna use immolation. On the Elder Brain. On the Elder Brain. Oh, yeah. you're going to make it mad. All nice. the way across the cavern? Okay. You're... Well, uh, I've got 90 feet. <laughs> sure, you can get there. Um, So you're aware that it's like currently submerged in water, right? Um... <laughs> uh, I would say it's viscous, oily fluid. Um... Yeah, boil it. These magical... These brain oil. oil. <laughs> you, can just, you can just boil the brain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It would sound like that. Well, if they catch fire, they're magical flames that can't be extinguished through non-magical means. Hmm. So can we say the initial attack would also get it, (laughs) given that spell description? Or if not, I will use a different spell. It's... Man, I don't know how fire works. Magic Yo, works aren't you guys black? I would vote that because it's magical fire. Blades? I think, yeah, I think you're good to. But you could. You're, you're good not. to do it. I mean, it's gonna have. I'm good either way. You yeah. can give it resistance. Yeah, no, I mean, this thing has oh, all the okay. resistance. All right. I want to thank you for not making something with brains. Chilled monkey brains. You're you're welcome. Well, it will. Uh, you met in real life. I will. Yeah, do, no, that, that's what I figured. I will do what I have been doing. Ooh. I will use. Three of my uh, magic sorcery points okay. to heighten the spell. All right. It will have disadvantage. It has a DC 18 dex save. This, dex save. This uh, immobile brain. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say, so the Elder Brain has legendary resistances. Um, so it can just declare itself to have passive. But it only has that. three of those, right? Isn't that yeah. how it works usually? That is true. Can it like? Okay, I took the first one out of the way, so it automatically saves them. Yes, it automatically okay. saves. Well, then it'll take half of seventy six. Okay. Fuck. Jeez, really? One's out. Well, yeah, it's just what the spell does. Wow. It, but it's really the spell sucks if it fails. Yeah. You want it to? I mean, if you want it to them to fail, because then they catch fire and they start taking repeated damage. Yeah, without the with the failures, it's a shittier fireball. It's a uh, shitty single target fireball. Yeah, okay. But I guess I'll get one of the resistances out of the way. Two, four. Six, seven, ten, twenty, eight, thirty-three. So sixteen damage. Sixteen damage on the elder brain. See, that was funny because Dan could have rolled the save to see if he made it at first, but he didn't. Nah. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a mobile. Listen, yeah. it, it's I mean, it's basically a mobile. Yeah, like, yeah. Those deck saves are just you could. Yeah, I feel I feel like if you're speed zero, you probably have disadvantage. It makes you so think it has it's double disadvantage, at it. man. Well, so it's got I mean it has magical resistance, so yeah. it's got advantage on that saving throw anyway. So like I could have rolled it, but I don't really care. Mm. Um, I don't think like we're not gonna go through another three rounds of this. I don't think really. Well, oh okay. Yeah, you've done seventy three da- damage to Octavius so far. That's true. Well, I feel like the elder brain. But the elder crazy. brain. The uh, okay, I, I'm done. I'm cool. Good. I okay, so move. Lindsay is done. Nash, you are up. You have a very similar situation to before, except you're not up in the air. Um. So do I have to spend this turn getting out of it again? Um. Unless that you would, your brains. I again. mean, you don't have to. You could just attack Zoctavir, I believe. I feel like we know that. Well, next round, bro, I'm going to get my sneak attack. Just get yourself out of those tentacles. How much do you value Squidward tentacles. Make him stick around and be like, mmm, tasty brain. I was going to say, is there, is there 
do we know if there's problems for letting this go on for too long? Oh, yeah, he'll rip it right out of your skull. No, you need can, to get those out. He can, like, talk through his mind. Why isn't <laughs> he giving know. us some big, fancy speech? Yeah. Because I ain't that kind of damn. Because he's not a <laughs> bad villain. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's, he's fucking getting out of business. I'll give him that. <laughs> yeah. He's like, my brain out. Like, That's Welcome, adventurers, to my ancient cultic <laughs> chamber. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, do, I, 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 I was going to reach to pull it out. Okay, there's... But first, fuck. a song. Is there, there's no advantage on this. This is just normal. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gets on his piano. <laughs> does, like, a number about his plan. Yeah, I'll do it. It's like, it's a song. Okay. Oh. Yeah, again, you rip him off your, your face. Um, this is starting to get old. It's a song about all the brains. He is every... Crusty with a nosebleed. Mm -hmm. That's not good. It's yeah. I mean, it's pretty. It's not cleanly. Well, and every time he latches on, you like like terrible like flare of agony goes through your entire psyche. Um, you know, your nose is bleeding, your ears are bleeding, like your eyes are bleeding. It's like <laughs> I mean, it's bad. You might have a bullet. <laughs> Wait, what? You let you decide to let him just eat it? No, 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 no. no. no he ripped it out. It's getting getting. Mouth on face and then brain and tentacles and skull. It makes you bleed still. Mm -hmm. And just to extra fuck with you, I okay. dip my tentacles in gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, you gonna, <laughs> so you gonna move it all or just? Oh yeah, I guess I can do that now. Um, I because I want to keep keep yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> um. You don't have to. Is there anything else I can do to sub for the movement action? I mean, there's no fucking like dodge or anything like that. Is there like to sub in? Uh, there is dodge is an action. Yeah, dodge is okay. like full no, action. Sure. Yep, cool. Um, Why don't you stand on your hands so that like your quick? legs are facing him and then you're going to suck for your dick? <laughs> <laughs> suck this, suck that bear! <laughs> oh guys, we didn't even talk to a wolf before we came. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. Call it now. You can't. It doesn't do it. Yeah, it's a ritual. Um No, but I'm actually serious. Like if you're facing the other way, he can't like get your brain. Right. And you're still next to him. Right. I mean, I don't think that's how the rule. You can just go into the base of your skull. Let me like, just he's going to have a good time with that. When is he going to oh, go yeah. through your <laughs> Okay. Hold Instead on. of getting your brain. I'm I, I'm at least I'm at least alongside James. So if 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 okay. if um oh. wait no I'll, I'll just I'll just, I'll just keep you him busy. Stop it. I'm not doing anything. I'm staying right here. He's okay. called a mind flare, not a prostate flare. <laughs> <laughs> Ringo, <laughs> that's going in the books. I so that was unleashed something bad. Yeah, <laughs> said something wrong. Okay. Um, so, Lindsay, the Elder Brain, is not happy with what you're doing What here. a dick. Um, so go ahead and make another Wisdom saving throw. Is that a spell? Mm, no, it's the same thing as last time. Come on! 5%! Oh, I was so close! <laughs> okay, how much do I Friends, take? Friends, I'm sorry uh, another being 30. so loose. <laughs> okay. And you are again <laughs> restrained. Can we say I moved you within 10 quickly? feet of Zoctomir? <laughs> yeah, I think we can. Uh, well, if you were... so. If you were restrained the previous round, you wouldn't have been able. Oh yeah, you would have like right. you're doubled up in pain and. Fuck. <laughs> oh my dick! I think I was like, can I like half serious about? This? I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my dick. Okay, um, so that was the the elder brain. Um, Zoctavir is going to, he's going to look at you two, um, and he, like, realizes that you're surrounded, and he like sort of, clenches up and. Unleashes a wave of psychic energy. Um, so each of you needs to make an intelligence saving throw. Yes! <laughs> I am very like, smart. Uh, I was going to say, no, James. yeah. <laughs> Luther lights oh, up and like, all oh, these Rick and Morty episodes I've been I watching. Fell. Hang <laughs> on. You know, Hopefully it's not a 20. It's actually can't very hard to understand. God damn it. 12. 12. 16. Mm. So 16 passes. <laughs> Hell! <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> I know. Twelve does not. You're smart um, now. Just don't drop me. Just don't drop me. You're like you're like. <laughs> so you mm -hmm. are take twenty two damage. Oh. Uh, ah. And you're stunned for one minute. God damn it! So you can repeat the same ba -ba, at the end of each of your turns. Okay. Um. So that is Octavir Veja. Hmm. He turns around. Oh, you should. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. it turns around towards me. Mother always told me to eat my vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? It's in eighty. Well, he's at five, so yeah, he probably should be going. healed. But I was gonna say you should use contagion on Zoctavir. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. 
heal him? No. <laughs> Use contagion? Yeah. He's gonna die. He's at five. I can bring him back. We can rebuild. We can re- oh, we yeah. have the magic. <laughs> I've done it twice before. And the, only re- and the only reason you can do this is because normally it's a touch, but now it's 30 feet. I am. Because I, I, like, I feel like Veja's just like... If you're just like, was... you're just like, help! And you're, I'm like, no. <laughs> it's like, if Luther was stronger, this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Contagion. Yeah. yeah, no, that's like my yeah, point. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, one... you're like on the ground, and I'm like, he's not really dead yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And even if he is, I can bring him back. Mm. Whether okay, or so, not he's So you, talk me through What's Contagion? So it's a, you have to make a spell attack. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a uh, quick, quick to going back. To a teacher with a, cr- well, a teacher. So I, I have it all here. You choose. Yeah. You, if you hit, Luckily you uh, choose mind, one of the contagions <laughs> to get to it. Like, you should totally give it slimy <laughs> doom. Like, oh, what? It's fucking <laughs> insane. Yeah. Basically, whenever they take damage, they're stunned. I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. A, a life? So you gotta make a melee spell attack, but it's a 30-foot spell attack. So, so just roll a d20 yeah, that's and it. add... <laughs> Add 10. Add 10? Add 10. Checks out. 20. 20. Uh, Yeah, that'll do, I guess. Yes! I am going to cast Slimy Slimy Doom. Doom. So the creature (laughs) begins to... Do you want to read it? Oh, Yeah, the creature begins to bleed uncontrollably. The creature has disadvantage on constitution checks and constitution saving throws. In addition, whenever the creature takes damage, it is stunned until the end of its next oh, turn. Oh, shit. Oh, man. And uh, guess what the saving throw is for this spell? Constitution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. And uh, if it fails three of them, the uh, effect lasts for the duration. Which is? Uh, uh, seven days. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, poor and, doctor. He's gonna be so sick. And uh it it, 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 it seven it, days. Yeah. Wait, it also needs to uh oh, succeed wait. three times to get rid of oh, it. Okay, so classic disease. Yeah. <sighs> You're sick yeah. for a week. Right. Cool. Um Doctor is not free. too happy about it. <laughs> he, he's all ble- he's bleeding though. He's just like bleeding what kind uncontrollably. Mind flare blood. It's uh like a sort of a glowing blue. I'll make a note of that later. Hmm. I'm like, I'm like, get me some, get, get me some. I like okay. throw a jar. <laughs> it's so a that was nice. <laughs> are out. Luther, um, you are conscious but stunned. Aww. You can make your saving throw now. That's a, that's a. Okay, how does a eighteen or nineteen? Don't do it. Yes. No longer stunned. Do I have my turn? Uh, no. It's at the end of your turn. So even those to end effects are always a danger. Yeah, yeah, usually. Just... Okay, okay Lindsay, you're up. Okay. Well, I'm going to do my best to try and get a hit on this guy so we can get him stunned. Hit him on the I will hit. cast... <laughs> I will cast a Scorching Ray. Okay. Fair enough. Scorching Ray. <laughs> Does the like 23 hit ray. it? Yeah, that'll hit. Oh, yeah. So he takes... Uh, 13 damage, Okay. and now he's stunned, yes. which means attack rolls have advantage, oh, and he automatically oh, fails oh, oh, oh. fail strength and dex rolls. But Lindsay, what about the other rays? <laughs> yeah, they're coming. <laughs> but now, I've, now I've got advantage. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that hits. Four, rays. six damage. Oh. Okay. <laughs> rays. Oh. And that hits for five damage. What did I miss? The, 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 it was we, the we delivery. You the, the oh, main, it was oh, the delivery. Oh, of, 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 what about? Why is that clown bleeding? That's not a clown. Bro. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'm done because I can't move. The mind flare. So Nash, Zoctavir is bleeding uncontrollably <laughs> from these fiery, flaming wounds. And most honestly, it's been mostly fire damage that he's taken. Um, given I, that like he took a solid <laughs> fifty it, right at the top of it. it to oh yeah. Um, but there he stands in front of you. Okay. You have advantage. You don't even have to reckless attack. That's true. Just cleave him. He can't move. He can't speak. Um, this boy he player can't, is he, hello. He can speak <laughs> falteringly. <laughs> and he can't take it's actions getting, It's getting kind of late, guys. <laughs> Nash raises his sword 
and goes, um, <laughs> oh god. He cannot move, he cannot speak. <laughs> the, 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 this mind player is not so good. <laughs> Nash just wails. He goes, Get him. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh geez, great. Logan. But, but does, does a, um, 19 hit him? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on there, buddy. That would be plus two attack rolls to flank when uh, flanking. Oh, okay. Plus all 10 right, with all of rage and shit. Right, yeah. Right, right. Get him. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. But what? Believe some people, man. I think. <laughs> um, uh, does, what is, uh, 11 damage total <laughs> do to him? Okay. Um, it, well, you got another attack, right? I do. Dan wants you to get oh! oh! Critical, critical, critical! Oh, okay. So I'm going to say that this critical is enough to kill him. Okay. His slimy doom. Um, It's the classic, it's like the shoulder strike. Ooh. So it comes down and then... No, yeah, no, yeah, the first attack didn't do much damage, so it, it just gets the notch in, and then he brings it up again. Oh, and just, brutal. And just, like, it's slow. just like the half. Yeah, like, it's, it's the slow, like... You're just like... Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. It's the tree. Yeah. It's tree yeah. fell. So the blade, the blade hungers for this. This is what it lives for. Ah. You feel the dark power course through you as you slice the mind player oh. into oh. Oh. dark tumbles to the floor. Um, and that. I mean, I guess the elder brain is still there. <laughs> Ooh, I know Wait, what I want to do. I know what um, you want to do. Which, so, I think the elder brain is actually up next. Um, Lindsay, how are you doing on the uh, the all hit points? Well, I got healed earlier. I have. And I'm gonna come back. Many. I've got 34. <laughs> 34. Whereas Luther, you're at five. Take the shot. Yes, Dan. <laughs> take the shot. Yes. Dan. I need him to take you down so I can do my cool thing. Yeah. Please make a uh, wisdom saving throw. I'll bring you back. Don't worry about it. Your yeah. brain's gonna be. You're gonna have six concussions. You're gonna have the football brain. Well, he's, got blood, he's got blood on the brain. <laughs> he's unconscious now. Well, I led you guys to victory at least. Does that down I go? Down does, you go. Does that mean it's oh, my toy? Sorry, apparently this has been the whale on James second. <laughs> it's, it's fine. You find yourself that you're a better friend now to live. Right. <laughs> no, this is Next. perfect because it deals with my flaw. Because now I'm like, I'm no longer more competent than everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay will remember that. How do you? Okay. How do, yeah. These assholes keep killing things for you. Yeah. Um, so the brain, you can see like, I just like sort of frenzied like activity coming from the tank. Out of their eyes uh, rather than the brain is, is clearly like not very happy about what's going on right now. Oh, it's gonna get no. even more unhappy. Right? Okay. Okay. This is, um, so I'm gonna say we can we'll go ahead and break out of initiative order here and just like tell me what you want to do. Okay. Um, so you can like you can get over there, you can withstand the the withering you know so mental here's agony. What, here's what I do. All right. I turn into a T-Rex <laughs> and I reach in and I bite the brain out. <laughs> Because that's what you do. Is it? Is it? Is this elder brain medium or smaller? No, it's definitely large. Okay, well I can't grapple it, but I can bite it. Why don't you just <laughs> smash the tube? So it's think like the elder brain's like the size of a smart car, and the tank is like the size of a like a minivan. And he's the size of a T Rex. Yeah, I'm huge. T Rexes yeah. are huge. Okay, but cool. the creature still has to be medium or smaller to get grappled. Okay. But, but you I can, can still just bite it. I, I can just bite it. Okay, cool. From my incapacity to state, I go, looks like this Mind Flare chapter is about to go extinct. Uh... Oh, so, okay. so do I roll? Are um, you doing that? I mean, you yeah, you can just hit him. He's, like, he's not moving around. I'm munching on him. Munching on him. Okay, cool. Um, So... Nash is you, you all, the very beast, you have, you have essentially you want. Um, huh. yeah. The elder brain is in your grasp. You can do what you want with it. Um, mm. It's going to continue trying to play your minds right. until either you're dead or it is. So you should do something about it quickly. Well, I'm chewing my bubble gum, okay. so to speak. So you're just going to chew on it until it's, it's test. I mean, if, if somebody would get me up, I would start stabbing it. Okay, yeah. I mean, you're able... You, so you physically rip it apart. <laughs> I take you over. Yeah. And you're the like... chunks are flying. You can do it, take up, I take yeah, up, yeah, I'm just using... As it's flying, I like... I, like chunks are flying off, I like put a little... You gotta eat it. In a sack. <laughs> yeah, there's three dudes wailing on it, and you're like walking around. <laughs> no, wait. Like, does the minute... Do you, 
do you like stand over there and you hold like your sword up in the air and then the, it's like and zero <laughs> yeah, and then you just grab the yeah. blood stuff and, yeah <laughs> You know what we should oh, do? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get the no. bloodstone. <laughs> no, no. I'm getting the bloodstone. Okay. You know what we should do? We should yeah, wait for the gnome to pop back in and interrogate him. Sure. I mean, like, I'm dead, what's he going to so say? He's going to say, I don't know what's going on. Or I'm yeah. out. Yeah. Well, you guys are going up to bloodstone. Or, you know, uh, bloodstone. they paid me. <laughs> and... Please don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to see. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So the, huh. the yeah. So okay. So you, you tear the elder brain to shreds. Oh yeah. Um, it's a, a spectacularly sad. satisfying ending. You heal Luther it back up. He's conscious again. <gasps> Do we win? I I go, roar. Wait 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 wait. Allow me. Oh. I, got, I got a little red cap and a mustache on. No. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> I think Luther just like stares at the T-Rex for a minute and then pulls out his last scroll and sees it evaporate. He goes, oh. yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So you're you're waiting for Archus to come so you snag the, the bloodstone and then you wait for Archus to come back and you're gonna take him alive? Yes. Yeah, okay. Enough blood has been spilt on his account. Yeah, I'm gonna we stand. So they come back right where they exited, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna position myself so when he comes back, it's just like pfft, knife to the throat. Yeah. To the gnome. Yeah, to the gnome. And uh, here there'll be. Oh a nice... no! Miscalculated. Oh. And the, and, well, well, yeah, I'm very intelligent. And I'll have a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to have my T-Rex nostrils breathing on him right. from behind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's not we're back, it's your back. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> you're back. Okay. That's an old one. So the gnome the gnome pops into existence um and screams a terrible <laughs> blood wrenching scream. This is not the scream of oh god, there's a T Rex in my face. This is the scream of Where was I? Everything I have known for the last thirty years has been ripped away from me. And I've been oh. in a void. Oh what do you wait, what? I don't get it. Yeah, because he's been under this he's impression. Been, uh, he's been oh, under a thrall yeah, yeah. this whole time. Okay. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> so is he like he's like screaming? Yeah, he's screaming and convulsing <laughs> on the ground. Like his brain doesn't know What's how to operate. On? Or like pull my knife away from him and like look at you and go. <clears throat> do, do you do you? Do you I'm, like, I'm like I'm like my voice doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that my voice doesn't do that. Calm the fuck down. Uh, and I like pull a potion out of my bag and pour it down his throat. Okay. Um. He. Calms down and, and sort of comes to, um, and he is... I was like, heal him. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, Me no. hungry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I pour my potion down his throat. I... Is this... What's that? Are you... Huh? Ooh. It's all right. Oh, sorry. He's a no. Is this... <laughs> What's that? Are you... Is, is, is I'm just I'm just like frustrated. I'm like, oh my god! I, been a dr I, <laughs> stop it, Logan. <laughs> Logan, no give me this moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> give him the moment. <laughs> I go. Okay. I go. It's all right. You were under. You were under the sway of another for a long time, but you're free now. It's been a terrible dream. Is that where? Where is this? What are? Who are you? You're safe. What is? You're fine. Okay. <laughs> You're okay. okay. We are Listen. the very beasts, adventurers for hire. I like wipe off my knife and put it back in the sheath. Welcome to your new life. <sighs> I fish out. I fish out um a really soggy, bloody card. What's What's your name, my friend? I'm. I'm. He doesn't have a name. Ar I'm Archus. Arches, Arches, tell me, what do you know about restoring orphanages? <laughs> well, I was. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm an accountant. What happened to me? What? An evil creature known as a mind flare took control of your mind for a long time. We wrenched you out of it. Okay, he asks you what year it is, and you tell him, and he realizes that he's been. Under the under his octopus control for probably like thirty or forty years. Damn! His youth That's stolen from him. Rough. His dreams and aspirations vanished. 
to uh, this creature's power. What a bummer. And he, he just sits on the ground and sobs. Well, I... Calm now, that we, has... now that we... Calm emotions! Shh. Now that we do have all of these funds, perhaps we could use an accountant. You know, that is a good call. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bend down and I pull 200 gold out of my bag and I hand it over in front of him and I go Arch- what's his name Archivos? Archus 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 it's short for something we're a guild of adventurers and seeing as how you're starting to get your life back and this town is going to start doing that as well maybe you'd like to help us out a bit yes well if you've if you freed me, then I, I think I owe you a, a debt. Perhaps that's as good a place to start rebuilding a life as any. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> and who knows? You're you're young, probably. Nah, he's old. How old you still got some good years old? left. A long Pretty time. Pretty old, I think. Yeah, then he's young. Oh, yeah. 40 years to a numb is not that long. It's been like 150 years. Jeez! All right. <laughs> Damn! It's, I was looking for like a large chunk of his life. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A season. So, yeah, I, I... Yeah. I was like, you can start off there. Yeah, they're adults around age 40. And I like, put the gold back in my bag. <laughs> well, all right. Archis, Archis agrees to this. He doesn't really know what else he's going to do. Well, I'll give him an extra broom. Stick around with us for a while. He You'll find that my companions are a bit gruff at first, but you get used to them. Yeah. <clears throat> Although there is one thing. You're going to have to be okay with eating some pretty strange foods. We all laugh. Oh, 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 okay. Nash is like blood from himself. You're just like, oh, no. <laughs> It's like we're all laughing and then the background is like And it's just like something's coming out of me So I'm I am like this is basically the end of any like combat what, stuff. What happens to the town? Like what happens to the townsfolk? Do they do we get to stay? Are yeah, they like so they, those three yeah. guys who killed people? We walk outside, <laughs> so we walk outside to a burnt down orphanage. Yeah. And <laughs> Charred husks of children. Did burn now. <laughs> it's like it's like oh no, the mind flayers destroyed the orphanage, and they're like, well, there's one of those motorbikes crashed into it. Oh no, the mind flayers ran into it. Aren't you guys the other ones that ever rode those? The mind flayers made me drive a motorbike into the orphanage. Oh no, <laughs> what have we done? No, we're gonna so we're gonna give this a uh, like a, a sort of a, a Superman tint where like Superman can destroy all of downtown fighting the bad guy, and he's still yeah, the hero. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, like the villagers are just like super ecstatic that they're not under control of the mind flayer anymore. Gotcha. Um, and like, we can the orphans die along it. the way. You know, they were able to get most of them out. Oh, one of us has to cut off Zoctiver's head and like bring it up to the town. Yeah, exactly. Ah. The dwarfs show up and party. The Leshen shows up and parties. No, the Leshen's dead. The Leshen's dead. <laughs> but the dwarves definitely yeah. will show up and party. Yeah. Tonight we freeze. You should, uh. What's going on, I don't remember what like Zoctiver. Hey. Okay, I'll stop. Zog okay. Devere. So let's let's talk a little bit. So like Zog you're able to like the, yes. the town hails you as heroes. Oh, the book! I want to find the book before yeah. we leave. It's he just dropped it on the ground there. Oh the yeah, we'll oh, yeah. take it. Lick I've taken the, the book, book and the, the stone, book. by the, the way. The while you guys the book. Lick the book. I, I just have it's, them. They're there's mine. like splatters of blood all over the place, but the book mm-hmm. is miraculously clean. It almost looks as though it like the blood landed on it and it just absorbed yeah. it. Wow. Yeah, I take the I take the book and the stone. They are. This book is dark. You didn't see me take them. He's thirsty. He's, what do you I want? Mean, Luther is pretty intelligent. Did I not see you take them, really? Is this, no. Do we want to bring this to roll? No. Oh, 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 I did it for you. That's a failure. You didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> roll perception. I'm just like. No, it's your passive perception. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like. Leaving. I'm just like. So, Luther, I think you were like you were unconscious right. on the ground enough that Veha could have done Fair all this enough. before she brought you back. <laughs> Fair enough. Just let her be evil. You're I'm you, not evil. We're like, evil. we're like, heal him. And you're like, one second. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, I think we should, we should raid the mansion. 
see if there's anything in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's, I mean, there are, so the mansion itself is a, a pretty well constructed front. Why don't we just um, live here? Well, we should have two guild halls. Mm, maybe start a branch office? It's okay. Yeah. And yes, you guys take that one. I take this one. Great. Luther has begun to realize that it's a lot easier to hire people to go and kill monsters for his family. Than it is for them to kill himself. <laughs> you can still do it. You can just cover much more ground. <laughs> so I've defeated Yigshil in a way because I've found the economic. <laughs> <laughs> I ended my character arc. Yeah, it's economics. all about that uh, that macro game. Look, that's a, that's a rogue move. Luther becomes a capitalist. I know my yeah. character. My character. You just... follow in Zoctavir's footsteps. <laughs> yeah. No, is there's yeah. good. There's good and bad capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> take Welcome to <laughs> Okay. So Mark's talk. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so there's That's there, playing my mind. <laughs> so there are all sorts of goodies here. Um, aside from the book, there's this whole like big pentagram summoning chamber. Um, I love this whole place. This it is my new room. Right up your alley. <laughs> um the so the elder brain machinery like the tank was completed but the machinery supporting it um which you upon further inspection think is designed to amplify and extend its effects mm -hmm. um was only partially built so it was not online yet um and as far as you can tell um Zoctavir's plan was to construct basically rebuild these blood crystals you know they're grown slowly over time um so he had sort of a, a baby one sitting there and he was like shit the very beast like got out of my clever ruse to mm. stab them all um we need to like speed up. the time is now we need to speed up our timetables mm. and just load as much blood magic into this stone as possible and give it to the other brains so that we can yeah 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 makes um, sense we forced, so... we forced its lobe <laughs> zaktavir i told you not to hire those adventurers it always causes trouble shut up mom <laughs> after uh, well, after um by the way after uh Everything's right with the accountant. Nash looks glum and goes, does this mean we're out of work again? <laughs> no, Everyone buddy, laughs. it means we find it ourselves. No, I mean, I'm, I'm always going to have plenty of contracts. My family has a lot of monsters to kill. You guys could stay in food and payment for quite some time. Yeah, we're rich. Hey, Zagreus really rich. Doesn't he have a bunch of money in his mansion? Uh, yeah. Money, there's quite a lot money. of money. Um, yeah, we're we're set. We can do so whatever we want. There's all the finances from that he was using to fund the development of this area. And you, of course, now that Doctor Veer's dead, you have to make a decision about like what's going to happen to these developments. The the rock blood uh, pumping station down near the Manticore. They're all canceled. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's cancel just, them all. Let's just destroy all. Tear those. it all down. Right we all should. Back. We should. Get, like, there's a moment, I think, where Luther's like, but they can make so much money, and then he remembers the incident in the forest, and he's like, let's just destroy all we those. should We should reappropriate all the funds that he used to extract uh, things from the land to, uh, like, just, like, help rebuild parts of the town. Yeah, I okay. agree. And pay also fill our coffers. Pay for funeral services for the deceased. Yeah. Yeah, so you're able to, like, there's a, a really nice service... Right. Install a nice of set of uh, monkey bars at the orphanage. Yeah. <laughs> and fill Allow them coffers. to actually go outside. They weren't allowed to go outside before. Now they have like, a little pen. It's, it's like, actually. <laughs> it's like in living memory, and it's all the kids that died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like a it's like a Brass. memorial wall. Stairway to heaven. Yeah. yeah so you. you <laughs> but, on the, but like on the place. <laughs> you've got so there's a lot of funds there. Um. So you're able to like rebuild the orphanage, and there's a nice yeah. memorial in the center of town. Um, what are you going to do with all the hired and enthralled laborers that Zoctabir? Well, they they break in? right as soon as we take care of the elder brain. They're not controlled anymore. Yeah, I mean, I think we just go through it. I I would hire them on to continue to pay a fair wage and like work for us mm -hmm. to help and like, help rebuild the town and make Ederby's Arch something great. Or if they want to leave, then they can just yeah. Leave. Okay, um, a good number of them do go back over the mountains, go back home. Um, they're sort of disillusioned. They're, they're you know this contract. Uh, Ended up uh, going a lot further south than they Sour. thought. If any of them are heading back to Earl, mm -hmm. I will send along several messages of the same type saying to Earl, Hey, Mind Flayer was impersonating one of your exchectors. Just a heads up, you might have a bigger problem. You know, just a notification to them there. Okay. Maybe we should, like, have, like, a set of, like, the people who are, like, supposed to be doing all the development stuff actually, like, go out to, like, 
do what the dwarves were doing at the bidding of the dragon. Like they're just like mm. doing like the conservation, conservation work. Efforts. I mean, you guys can do that. Luther's not involved. I we're do we're that. rich now. We can afford I anything. I do that. Yeah, I do that. We've got billions of gold. Do that on the off nights you're not practicing blood magic. Yeah. So you've got, you might. Because like this evens out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So you, I think billions of gold is a bit of a stretch. So you, like hundreds of thousands or maybe a million gold. What do we need gold billions. for? I mean, or like that much worth of general wealth yeah. that you can pay people with. We can we probably afford to pay people for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Well, and also, you know, we can just hang out. Yeah. But don't <laughs> you want to time. become more powerful? We can get an industry going. Like, I think, I think even though we're conserving the land and stuff, we can... There's got to be like mining operations we can break into or... Oh! Guys, we can start selling monster items. We'll craft items out of monsters, mm. recipes. We're gonna sell cookbooks. <laughs> oh my gosh, we can start selling cookbooks. There's so many franchising opportunities because we 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 each all have our own one, and there's like one with like mash with like um, glistening it, you're, you're, muscles, you, 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 but he has like he has, like, like the oven mitts stuff. on. <laughs> yeah, paleo well, diet. We can start a restaurant chain called McMonsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I want to do that so bad. <laughs> the Golden Energy <Enderby> Arches! <laughs> yes! Yes! Uh. Yes! <laughs> wow. This is real. This is what oh. we do. This is real. <laughs> This is what we do. And, and, people, and it says, people, and it says and over one billion slaughtered. <laughs> <laughs> people come from like like caravans come through like with their kids and they're just like, oh, let's go in the golden man of these arches. <laughs> this is gonna create problems. So many there's problems. Like, yeah. there's like, I, think, I think the economics of that don't quite work out. There's not enough like terrible monsters in the world well, to we have be able to, to do that on an industrial oh, scale. We start breeding oh, them. Really we have, do to, really we have think... to breed them. And they well, tend I mean, like, not to do well in captivity. Yeah. We make things like we are riding on our free, namesake. Free Does McDonald's <laughs> actually serve real chicken nuggets? McDonald's? Don't sue us. Um, <laughs> no. I mean, sure. It's like yoga mats and shit. We'll, we'll, like, we'll, I feel like, I feel like <laughs> we should no, serve... No, we like serve chicken and call it manticore. Who gives a shit? No, no, no. I feel no like we just have a manticore I mean, farm. Yeah. Basically what I've been doing this whole I was going to say, so. we do it... Yeah, he's been doing it like, and we haven't been complaining. I feel like we start off with one, one restaurant and we can think about franchising later. Uh, calamari special. Did you yeah. watch that movie too? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. What is this called? <laughs> Okay. Um, so does anybody have a like a long term plan for their character that they want yes. to? Yes. Okay. Um, learn everything about blood magic. Oh yeah, you <laughs> learn a lot about blood magic. I learn a lot. I assume you're keeping it more or less secret from yeah. everybody. Yeah, I'm not necessarily learning it for the sake of using it. I'm you. I I I I'm trying to figure out a way. People with blood magic. Could be cool. I think yeah. I think what I'm trying to figure out is is i don't know like like what what other things other than like pat well like what can the blood magic crystals be used for other words other than like powering like giant cats well magic is just a tool yeah magic is just a tool yeah so, so like, you know ultimately it's uh just an enormous power source but sort of yeah. as you're as you investigate and dive deeper into this you sort of your mind is open you know mm. to the possibilities uh oh how open like you, French uh, doors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, good. I feel like you weren't like it's not like they're a close type beforehand. Um, <laughs> anyway, you like I think there's a very good chance that Veha ends up sort of like I recognize that you're going on with good intentions, but like mm -hmm. reading the book changes you. Like that's mm. part of the problem of blood magic is you go in with good intentions and mm -hmm. then you like it turns you evil because that's what Cross the, the blood omancer. <laughs> so, um, I think there's some there's some sort of a story to be told around that, and perhaps perhaps one day, perhaps you don't like necessarily <clears throat> turn on your allies. Perhaps one day you just realize it's time to move on. Yeah. Dick. That you have important work to do, and you can't be constrained by their petty notions of 
good and evil or right and wrong. Yes. <laughs> Restaurants and profit margins and supply chains. Yeah, I realized the real business is like being like a celebrity chef, actually. Mm -hmm. And so I realized that I have to... <laughs> I have to get a show. You have to get a tour of Earl. Welcome to Need That Blood. <laughs> Just a uh, one I... orphan. <laughs> no, I think my whole thing is is like, can I figure out like how to like? I want to like start making like blood banks, oh. and then have people voluntarily give me. That's incredible. To make blood crystals. So that's that's like a classic. Um, Cause I'm a like, classic plot from some book or another is that like yeah. a vampire takes over a town and like sets up uh yeah. like you know vampires brilliant and like yeah. has all this brilliant like excellent I have infrastructure a lot of money and I gotta tell you like there's okay. a lot of poor people. <laughs> yeah, you know what? This I is the grounds that... for a whole country. Like we run <laughs> off the energy of our people. Blood Turns blood. out I was the biggest capitalist of them all. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, that's what they're. Blood capitalist. Okay, <laughs> that's what they're interested blood. in. She's interested in like trying to figure out like is there a way to like manufacture these things or make these things in a way that is not killing people. Yeah. So the your initial experiments indicate that like suffering is an important part of mm. the blood magic equation but you think you can sort of Break make them. some yeah. substitutions yeah maybe if i make some way to like have them suffer a little and then some sort of like thing to amplify it and then mm. it somehow translates okay <laughs> my yeah. suffering amplification. are you are you a blood marcus where you're like you are not your labor you're your life force <laughs> All all life has intrinsic value, <laughs> and you deserve a fair wage for your <laughs> for the blood wow. you're giving me <laughs> to make scary blood crystals. This makes terrible thing. You're gonna turn into a BBG of another campaign. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. cool. So uh, Veja goes down that route. Yeah. Um, I don't know where that leads. I'm that still hanging out. With, I'm still hanging out with you guys. I leave. I leave town a lot. I come back though. <laughs> she's she's always been sort of inscrutable. Yeah. With. Big like, oh, crates of things. <laughs> I don't ask questions anymore. Yeah. yeah, you've definitely tapped into some of the weird supply chain stuff that Zoctavir had sitting around. You like you investigate yeah. his ledgers and like there some mm. of his contacts are very useful to I'm you. I'm like, this is how this is being done now. Uh Luther um works hard to establish the successful franchise back in Etterby's Arch. Mm -hmm. Um he basically wants to set up an adventurer's guild. Um to go out and take care of these monsters uh, for him. He'll get in contact with the Mossgrove Manor back in the home mm -hmm. and uh, get them to send out scrolls and stuff and basically put them up as wanted bounties. Yeah. Um, and of course, occasionally he has to go out and take care of one himself. But I think um, he so feels... To, sort of retire from field work? Well, he feels... It's not really retirement. He feels comfortable doing this to like share the load from his family. Like he's taking care of that and then he's secretly in the background directing the rest of his family to hurry up and find out a way to get to Yggshill so we can eventually kill him. Because mm, okay. we're still sick of this curse. Like, there's got to be some way to get rid of it. So do you ever go to Veha and ask her about that Dragon Slayer sword? Because, uh... Mm. Ah. Dr. was not lying. There is a recipe for that shit. Yeah, she knows. I think I... Maybe that's the thing that finally gets me to turn over. Like, I'm constantly like, mm, blood magic, and you're like, but Dragon Slayer sword... I'd be like, oh. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in, Yeah. Okay. Everyone cool. has a price. <laughs> <laughs> Do they not, Mr. Mosgrove? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. So we've got Lindsay and we've got Nash. Still haven't told me where they're going long term. Um, Nash um, remains on an advisory at, as, as a consulting role with a very beast. Um, but Nash kind of... Um, I'm trying to think about what this sword would make him do. The first, my first thought is that he sets up kind of a ranger system. He becomes like a head ranger and he hires people or, and this isn't a joke, gives orphans of age the option to, to get purpose back in life and to, so every, every, um, lair we went to, uh, a ranger station is set up and ideally the more ranger stations will be set up in the desert or wherever we can find places to put them. And it's a very, it's a very sort of like stoic watching over of the landscape to make sure that it's like, no one takes advantage of these things ever again. Hmm. Um, and he, 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 cause he kind of returns. Plus they're a little really like park rangers. Yeah. 
so th- he returns to that 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 the notion that like of maintaining that sort of balance um, in nature, and uh, but I'm wondering what the sword might also make him too because I the sword's still there. I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's kind of like the sword goes up on the wall thing, you know, in the yeah. main ranger. Well, hall. and so that's that's sort of the question is have you with this uh, this two toned helmet that you wear? Yeah, have you found that balance within yourself between the wildness? Yeah, I I I, actually, I do think that's what it is. It's it's kind of like it's almost it's almost his curse now to be the arbiter of that balance, and he's seen both sides, and and that's the, mm. the yeah the helmet becomes the crest of the whole of the ranger society as well. Okay. Um, that's pretty cool. And but he's but because of that he's he has to kind of be, I think, insular as he once was. So he'll wander into town and, if, and like and be like, Luther, I need some of your best men. And and, and like yeah. and like you just know and yeah. like they come they they go out and do something and they're like and he's like, and he's good now. Yep. You know <laughs> like and you're like mm. <laughs> you know? whatever. Yeah. Okay. So cool. two of my two of my parchments get cleared off. I'm like yeah that's so yeah cool. yeah exactly. <laughs> All right, so Nash, what is this organization called? Or does it have a name? Does it um, need a name? I kind of just like the... Um, do you, the Big Skulls. <laughs> the Big Skulls. It's the National Arch Service. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, maybe... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just like something like Rangers of the Arch. It's it's, okay, it's the Rangers of the Arch. Yeah, it's... The Rangers of the Arch, the Lost Arch. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> arch. We Rangers. have no original bones in our body uh, besides <laughs> Dan, who did all this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think all I think we it have is... is riffs and goofs. I mean, even something like the Watchers or something. Like that. Yeah, exactly. It's it's people 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 always know what it okay? is. Yeah. is a thing. They just, they just know that they're out there. Yeah, so that, like, there's not, maybe not so much formal organization, not a formal name, but like, if you're like the Rangers or the Watchers. It's, or the... Actually, I think a good analog, and I, I I hate to lean on it, but it, it is like, it is like what Aragorn was, what Strider was. It's like, okay. he's just, like, he's a Ranger, that's what he does. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone knows it. It's even though, even, even, even though he's up to his dude. own, sometimes you have your own motives and goals, mm-hmm. but it's it's a syndicate in that, you know, it's a kind of a collective in that way. It's so like-minded. They all know they're sort of like-minded and they'll help each other out if they need it. Okay. All right. All right, Lindsay. So first thing Lindsay does is he rides out they into the desert the to the deepest, clothes. driest, hottest area. <laughs> and he just stays there and hones his craft, Ooh. tries to become an even more powerful sorcerer, pushes his body to the limits, probably nearly dies like half a dozen times from the exhaust- exhaustion. Wander by, pour water on you. You're just like, ah! <laughs> You're just like, what's that? Um, that's... So maybe after that's like a year or two, he comes back. And he's he, he's extremely leathery now, just, from the burns. Yeah, uh, he looks like a football. He's got a big old Jumanji beard, but he's completely bald. And <laughs> is it, so is it a fire beard or is it? You know, you'd be eighteen. Dude. Oh, it should be bright, flaming just, red. He's like he's like completely hairless, but he's like hmm. a fireman <laughs> too. Yeah, and uh, I would say he uh, stays heavily involved in the field work. Okay. Mm-hmm. He really liked that, so he probably leads a lot of expeditions, taking care of whatever comes up, tries to act like he's the boss, but he totally isn't. Okay. Keeps it of, simple. Yeah. You're like, I know, Lindsay, I know. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, 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 yeah I know you're the boss. I'm back, and I'm taking over! <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we kept your room for you. Here's your office. It has like all Sweet. your kids stuff in You're like, I'm you not a kid. Can you help me take care of one thing first? Just one thing. Okay. The last one, I promise. Okay. Okay. So you're just gonna like keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. It's not a right. awesome. Keep it simple. Well then. Well, I think that's pretty much wrapped up. Great. Does Earl ever reply back? Um, who are you? Who is this? Yeah, stop talking to me. Is he dead? Stop. Good. I, I was thinking it was gonna be more like, we'll see you real soon. Yeah, yeah. Like, the I'll... entire country is mind flayers. Yeah. No, so I think I think Earl sends back a like, 
oh wow that's really exciting we didn't we had no idea <laughs> um like thank you for taking care of this you're a true citizen and there's an, a little brass award yeah it's like one of those, you, you know when you get like the presidential fitness thing and it's like you get a signed document for the president but it's like a photocopy of the signature of the president it's like that i rip it off i look at it and i chuck it out the window <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.